Welcome to part 12 of our C programming lecture series. And in this part 12, we are going to see what is if else ladder. Okay. So for that, I will write a program so that you people will come to know what is if else ladder. First of all, I will declare a variable for marks. Okay. I have declared a variable marks and I will give user a message to enter his marks. Printf. Enter your marks. So user will enter marks and that thing I will scan. It will be person D because it is an integer. It will be stored in marks and of marks. And I have it because I have to save it in the address where marks variable is named. I have to store it in the address of this memory section where the name is marks. Okay. So now I will write if mark is entered by user, mark is greater than or equal to 100, then certain code should execute. Suppose I will write here printf. X is outstanding. Okay, printf outstanding. Else, if marks is not greater than or equal to 100, I will go into the else part. But I have to write multiple conditions. Suppose 80 to 100, then 70, and then 60 to 80, then 50 to uh, this 40 to 60. So for that, I have to apply again if. Else, then if again, then again marks greater than or equal to marks greater than or equal to 80. If it will be 80 to 99. Okay. So for that, I will copy these lines of code again and I will write here. So here, outstanding, instead of outstanding, I will write here, excellent. Similarly, I will copy this code again and paste it here for greater than 60. 60 to 79, I will write good. Similarly, I will copy these lines of code again and I will paste it here and I will write greater than or equal to 40. Then I will write, instead of good, I will write only pass. Okay, then I will write on every condition, whether it is 30, 20, 10, for every condition. I will not write here if again. So instead of writing else if again, I am writing here else because I want to mention some, I want to execute some code on the condition other than these, other than 40, 60, 80, and 100, other than this, whether it may be 10, 20, 30, for all, I will write try again. Okay, I have written if in this L and if in this and if in this, no, but I have not written if in this because it is the last condition that is other than these conditions. Okay, so I'm writing only else. If our marks is not falling in these categories, then and then only this line of code should execute. So if our marks are greater than or equal to 100, suppose our marks are 110, it will print outstanding. Okay, else if our marks are not greater than or equal to 100, if they are less than 100, but they are greater than 80, so it will enter into this block and will write this excellent. It will not enter, enter in any other block. First, when it was greater than 100, it was entering this block and after executing this block of code, it was not entering these lines, these uh, these blocks. It was, after executing these lines of code, it was terminating. It was reaching here. Our pointer was reaching at the end, okay? Similarly, if, it, if this condition is not satisfied, if this condition is satisfied, then it will enter into this block and will not enter in any other block instead of this block, okay? And will and go to the end of the program. Similarly, if that condition is not true, if 60 to 79 is true, then it will enter into this block and will execute these lines of code. Okay, I will, first of all, I will run this program and I will see the result. Suppose, suppose our marks are 101, so it is writing here outstanding. Similarly, if I will run it again and our marks are 65, so it is writing good. And for every other statement, for, for if I will write, if I will write 35, it will fall in any other statement and it will write here try again. It is, it is giving me the output try again. Similarly, if I will write here 55, only pass, okay? Similarly, if I will write here 85, it will enter into the excellent block and rest uh, rest of these blocks will not be executed. Then it will reach at the end of the program. One question here arises that if, we'll, if I will write this condition first, if I will write this condition first, then I will write this condition first, then I will write this condition, then I will write this condition. So what will happen at that time? At that time, what will happen? I will show you. Here I will write is greater than 40. I am writing this condition first. And here it is only pass. And I am going to write it here. Only pass. Then I am writing this 60 here. And it is only good here. So I am writing good here. 
then I am writing here I am writing 80 and here it is excellent then I am writing here 100 and it is outstanding here it will not work because if I will run this program when I am entering 101 marks first condition is that is that greater than 40 yes 101 is also greater than 40 it will enter into this block and rest of blocks will not execute execute okay but our marks is greater than 100 it should enter into the outstanding you will see here output of this program when I am running this program I am writing here 110 that should come into outstanding category but greater than 40 is also uh, true for this it is writing here only pass instead of this only pass it should write here outstanding this is the problem we are facing if I will write it in the reverse order so I have to change it again I have to write 100 first then 80 then 60 then 40 you will see I have changed it to seconds again and now it will work correctly you can see here if I am running this again you will write 110 you can see here outstanding is outstanding is our result thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel industry technologies so that you will come to know about more notifications and more videos that i am going to post here thank you